तो 122वीं इंटरनेशनल ऑनलाइन खातम नबीन कॉन्फ्रेंस से सामीन से मुखातब हूँ अलहमदुल्लि रबालमीन वसलात वसलम अशरफलम्बियामरसलिन वालबीन वाहरीन First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the organizer of today's prestigious international conference on the finality of the prophethood of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam the pride of the ahlul bayt the prince of golra sharif jigrai goshaye hazur qibla alam rais al mujaddidin peer sayyid mir ali shah sab rahmatullah alai i'm referring to hazrat alama p sayyid faridul haq ghilani shah sahab shah sahab i want to congratulate you for fulfilling the right of the ahl bayt and for rising up to the challenge just has your great grandfather over 100 years ago rose up against the fitna of the qadiani movement may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you may allah preserve you and may allah allow you to continue the great efforts and the endeavors to defend the deen to defend the way and to defend the, tr- the great tradition of our aima inshallah taala many international in many international scholars will be speaking about the polemical differences with the qadiani movement the misrepresentation of the qadianis in their interpretation of various quranic and uh, hadith literature how they have abuse the relevant literature to fulfill their own objectives i will not be spending my time very briefly on that at all i will be giving a message to ultim- ultimately our ulama i will be advising our organizers of this conference the viewers the ulama the listeners around the world on a number of things i believe are extremely important in the modern day in counter uh, or countering the fitna the tribulations of the qadiani movement one of the most unifying factors that all muslims adhere to and that is be it a sunni or shia a sufi a wahhabi a dubandi a jamaat islamia follower whatever ideology sectarian leaning you adhere to or you ascribe to one of the unifying factors between all of us is this idealism and this notion regarding the finality of the prophethood of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam this is something that unites all muslims and this is something that has united the muslim ummah for over 1400 years the concept that muslims will accept certain differences but there's a red line when it comes to the issue regarding the honor and the idealism and notion surrounding the finality of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam 1400 years ago in the plains of arabia such challenges were put forth against the great khalifa of the muslims the great friend of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam sayyidina abu bakr as-siddiq radhiyallahu anhu in which he had the challenge of facing musaylima al-kadhab the liar who claimed to be a prophet at the end of rajab in the 11th year of hijri he sent out a muslim army that were predominantly over that were predominantly the sahaba from badr and uhud and the early of the akabirin of the sahaba the narration says 13000 soldiers 
under the leadership of Sayyiduna Khalid bin Walid radiallahu anhu marched on the plains and marched towards Musallim al kadhab to destroy his idealism and to confront him regarding his fitna. From, his, from a Usuli perspective, this was the first time we see in the history of Sunni Islam the application of ijma'a has a hujjah being employed by the Muslims. This is the first example where all the Sahaba made an ijma'a. The Muslims collectively made a consensus and said that anyone that claims to be a prophet, anyone that claims to be a messenger after our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is a Dajjal, he is a liar, and he is not, he is from amongst those 30 liars whom the Prophet had prophesied. From the history of humanity, we have seen many people that have risen up and that have claimed and have made this claim that they are a Prophet. But my dear respectful ulama, Qibla Shah Sahab, Faridullah Shah Sahab, one of the biggest fitnas and tribulations that we face in the modern world is the fitna of the Qadianism, is the fitna of the Qadiani movement. The Qadiani movement in the UK, in different government capacities, have been proclaiming and had been advocating to government that they are a minority within the Muslims that have been persecuted that they represent real Islam, that they represent the core values of Islam, and they have portrayed this message in different parts. We see it in Israel, for example, the Israeli government engaging with the Qadianis and so forth. And that is why I believe it is the duty of ulama and our politicians and our public leaders that we come together and we lobby government and we lobby the UN and we lobby various government agencies and NGOs to explain to them our criticism and our objections towards the Qadiani movement. Why do we reject them? Why will we not accept them as a minority within the Muslims? Like we have the minority Shia Muslims, we have a minority movement within other Sunni Islam. These are people that are within the Ummah there are still Muslims, we accept that they are a minority, but we have to be able to explain to government forces, to government agencies, what is the wisdom behind why we reject Qadiani, the Qadiani movement. We have to be able to use our resources, we have to be able to use every democratic uh, avenue that we have in propagating this message to the government forces. We have to preach to them, we have to convince them, to explain to them the great dangers that we feel and how offended we are regarding the fitna of the Qadiani movement. The Qadiani movement very, very deceivingly have been portraying that they are victims of persecution and that they are victims of condemnation. Yet within their own books, Mirza Qadiani, the Dajjal, has on more than one occasion condemned over 99, not 99, but over all the Muslims around the world for what they believe in. And he has called all the Muslims, has non-Muslims, anyone who rejects his calling. He has insulted the great prophet Isa, Jesus Christ, and so forth. He has instigated this tribulation and this disunity within the Muslims. And that is the reason why we as ulama, as academics, as intellectuals, we have to put together our resources. We have to come together with different Muslims. And that is why I congratulate Sayyid Faridul Haqshah Sahab Ghilani for bringing together at this conference Diubandi Shia, Salafiya, ulama from across the board who are all Muslims and we have a common vision. We have a common identity. We have a common duty which is rebuttaling the fitna of the Qadiani movement. We have to come together, we have to invest into our future. We have to look at resources, academic writings and so forth in order to reply to the fitna of the Qadiani. We, and one, one of the things I would advise Gibra Shaji would be to set up a committee 
of leading academical scholars from all different sectarian backgrounds that all of these ulama can come together and we can put all of our written resources together the traditional writings say fichistia by Pete said Meredith Shah Sabrahmatul the works that have been written by the Dubandi ulama the by the by the Salafiya ulama by Mona uh uh Ala Mududi and other ulama that we can bring all of their literature together, we can unify together and then we can come out with a codified a common literature that we can provide to Muslims around the world. We need to arrange programs to teach our youth about the fitna of the Qadianis. We have to be able to not only condemn it, but be able to intellectually, academically reply to the Qadianis. And at the same time, we do not advocate any violence against any people. This is not the Sunnah and this is not the way of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam, nor is it the traits and the ways of the Ahlul Bayt. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala reward you, may Allah protect you and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us tawfiq that we as Muslims can come together to continue to honor the finality of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alihi Wasallam by living up to the standards that are demanded of this of us Muslims. Again, I want to thank the organizers, specifically Fakr al-Sadat, the, 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 the pride of the Ahlul Bayt, the Prince of Golra Sharif, P. Sayyid Farid al Haqsha Sabghilani, Hafidahullah Ta'ala, may Allah protect you, may Allah reward you, may Allah answer all of your prayers, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep your sire upon us, may Allah keep your feet above our heads, and may your leadership be above us so that we may continue to work in the footsteps of your great forefathers. Jazakallah khairan wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Arz guzar hoon 